Today we're going to talk about type in Adobe Illustrator. Well, we're just going to cover the basics. Well, in order to put in type, we need our type tool. Don't forget there's several type tools grouped together here. We're just using the first one. There's two different kinds of type. There's point type and area type. Point type, we just put our cursor where we want it. Click the mouse once and begin to type. With point type, we can get our regular selection tool, and we can grab a corner, and we can enlarge this, move it around, whatever we want. Uh, now, to further format this type, we can just select the box here, change the font. We can come up to the top, change it to whatever we want by picking it from the list. We can also type the name of a font you know the name. Another thing you can do is just put your cursor in the box here and use your up and down arrow keys to cycle through all the fonts. Let me get back to Myriad. So I'm going to start typing M-Y-R. I actually want Myriad Pro. And let's make it bold. To change the size, we can use these up and down arrow keys. We can pick a size from the list. We can type in a size. Put the cursor in the box and use your up and down arrow keys. Or a common keyboard command is control shift greater than or control shift less than. To change the color of this type, we could just select it like any other object use whatever method we like. We can use our swatches. We can also add a stroke to the font if we like. And there we go. Uh, let me do a couple undos. We can also format text by selecting the text we want. And also, by the way, to get your cursor back in here, you can just double click and it automatically turns back into the type tool. So this is very similar to InDesign does the same behavior. So if you want to change the stroke and the fill or the font of just uh, part of the type, you can just select it. Okay, let me do a couple undos. Now if you need some more um, flexibility, there is a character panel. Let me open that up real quick. So there's all kinds of uh, more advanced settings that you can make here, like for the kerning, etc. But We'll cover that another time. All right, let's put this away. The other kind of type is what's called area type. This is more of like a conventional text box. We do that by getting our type tool and clicking and dragging out a box. The cursor will be flashing inside the box. I have some text on my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it in. If I use my regular selection tool, you can see this is more like a conventional text box. There's an import here and an out port here. We can change some of the characteristics of this box by going to type area type options. A quicker way to get here though is just to double click right on the type tool and this will bring up the area type options. You can see we can change, let's hit the preview. We can change the number of columns. Let's put it back to one column. Now also, I'm just going to hit cancel. We can select the box and we can format this as a whole. If I click on this here, we change the type color. Or again, if you want to just do some of the type, you can just highlight it and recolor it. Let me do a couple of undos, get it back to, to the way it was. This is a regular text box that you'll see in other programs also. And this, this also behavior is the same too. You see there's a little red box here. This is indicating overset text. If I click this little guy here, I can also thread this to a new box like so. And I can repeat the behavior. So this works just like InDesign, if you're familiar with InDesign. 
If I were to delete a box, it just skips over it. Also, if I just pull the handle open, this will allow more text inside the box. Now, also similar to InDesign, we can make a text box out of anything we want. If I were to get my ellipse tool, I can draw an ellipse. Get my type tool. And now watch my cursor change. When I'm outside, we have a normal cursor, normal eye beam. When I come in, you can see, oops, you got to get in the right spot. You see the cursor has changed. If I click now, this has changed into a text box. Make sure you don't lose it. It's a little tricky. And I could start typing. We can also do this on the fly, too, when we're flowing text. For example, if I make an ellipse over here, if I click my overset text box over here, now when I go over my shape here, get it just to the right spot, you see the cursor will change. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. This is very similar to InDesign. And if I click once, now the type is flowing into this shape. Okay, just one more thing. Let's delete this. We can also place text in Illustrator. If I do File, Place, so I'll hit Place. Let's leave the formatting. I'll say OK. Now this will just bring it in and try to fill up the page like so. Let's undo that. Uh, if you have a text box already made and you place text, it'll go right into the text box. I'll leave again I'll leave the formatting and I'll say okay. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again for part two. Bye bye.